From the Sports Station, here's News Channel 2 Sports Director, Spencer Davidson. Good evening. After 12 thrilling days of international competition, the IIHF Women's World Championship came to a close last night in Utica with an epic conclusion and another incredible battle between the United States and Canada on ice. In front of a record crowd of 4,142 at the Adirondack Bank Center, one of the most incredible back and forth contests ended with former Colgate University captain Danielle Serdachny ending the hopes of Team USA for a repeat on home ice in overtime. While coming up just short of gold, it was quite the ride for the United States over the past couple of weeks as the team returned here to home ice for the first time in seven years. And they certainly leave Utica feeling the love. I couldn't get over the, the support that we got from the community. And it's not even just when you're in the rink, it's, it was across town or, you know, if you ran, ran into somebody outside of this facility, it was, the people were A1 and the tournament was just class all over. So an honor to be a part of. It's special to play in front of a home crowd and they were loud all week, not just in the U.S. Canada games, they showed up every single game and so it was fun and exciting to play in front of them and uh, bummed that we weren't able to bring it home because that's something they deserve too, but uh, it's, it's extra special when you get to represent your country on home soil. So Team Canada wins its 13th gold medal all time. The United States taking silver for the 12th time. Next year's tournament shifts overseas to Czechia, but the memories of the past couple of weeks here in Utica will last a lifetime.